Hi, I hope today's been a good one so far. So just a short, sweet little video for today, just to explain how to install mods for Battlefront 2. I figured because we're putting a ton of mods up over the past few months, it might be a nice idea just to explain how to do it. So two simple things you're gonna want. The main one is the Frosty Tool Suite. You're gonna wanna download it from this website. I will leave the links in the description. So just go ahead and download that. The second one you're gonna want is the Nexus Mod website. This is your guide or just the best place to get all the mods. There are a few of us lying around here and there but generally speaking this is where you get the most once you've downloaded the frosty uh, tool suite go to where you've downloaded it and just unzip it using whatever sort of zip software you've got i usually use 7zip it's freeware um i just find that's about the best it unzips pretty much anything once it's unzipped just load it up and it's going to ask you to select the configuration so new configuration and what it wants to know is where is your executable file for Star Wars Battlefront 2 so just link it and do be careful because if like me you've got a trial version make sure you click the actual one and I will click remember choice although it won't let me uh, let's just yep now it will okay so we'll select that and we're in so second off the bat, we're going to want to go and download ourselves a tasty new little mod. So for this one, I think I'm going to choose the uh, Calzen. It's pretty damn sweet. Comes in two flavors. This one replaces two separate characters, Obi-Wan on one side and a dark side character. I believe it's Darth Maul on the other. So you will have to be signed in for this website. So just go set yourself up a little account here. Manual download. I'm not a premium member, so it will be a slow download, which to be fair is pretty damn fast. Once that's downloaded, go to where it's located. Again, using my 7-zip, just gonna extract the files here. Pretty quick. And then go back to the Frosty Mod Manager, and what we're gonna wanna do is import the mod. So locate where we've put it, and just it's the actual FB mod file you're looking for, not another file. You can actually load these up without unzipping them, but I do prefer to unzip them myself. Just make sure it's applied, description of who it's gonna replace, and launch. Now what it should do, because it's the first time it's launching and there isn't a mod database file in your Battlefront 2, it's gonna to want to install one into it, so just let it do its thing and away it goes it's going to apply the mod and launch the game once you're in game what i normally like to do if it's a character mod especially is go to collection and just check that they've loaded up correctly so we've got the darth maul replacement and with this mod comes two characters so we've also got the cows and both looking absolutely sweet these are just texture mods so these should be okay to play online but if you are fearful of getting banned then just go into the single player and enjoy them in here so this process you should be able to use to install and enjoy any of the mods that i've put up previously and in the future from now on on the channel it is worth noting that some of the old ones won't work with the new patches but all the ones will as i put them up when they go up as for now i really hope you enjoyed this one give us a thumbs up subscribe for more have a great day take it easy and bye for now